Hello, I'm Barbara Bailey, your state representative from the 10th Legislative District. Thank you for joining me from the House of Representatives here in Olympia. We are now in the last few days of the legislative session with adjournment scheduled for March the 11th. Very important decisions will be made from now un until the end, including the state operating budget. This is the largest of the state's three primary budgets. It pays for such things as K-12 schools, higher education, corrections, government and judicial operations, and health and human services. So it affects all of us. I'm holding this budget in my hand today. As you can see, it is large. In fact, it represents more than $30 billion of your tax dollars. In my other hand, I hold the amendments to this budget. These represent hundreds of millions of dollars in addition to this budget. This is just state spending that we cannot afford. If there is one thing these tough economic budget times have revealed, it is the very different approaches that the Democrats and Republicans have when it comes to use of your tax dollars. For example, the House Democrats operating budget addresses the $2.7 billion shortfall by increasing taxes by nearly $900 million, accepting around $640 million in federal funds, sweeping dedicated state funds to the tune of about $240 million, and depleting the rainy day fund by taking $230 million. It also makes more than $650 million in cuts. I voted no on this budget because it is the wrong approach. I also voted against the bill to suspend the Taxpayer Protection Act, I-960. First, we can pass the balanced budget without raising taxes. A vast majority of my constituents believe that state government must live within its means, just like you do. The House de uh, Democrat budget also fails to reform state government. I have put forward several solutions that would restructure and make state government more efficient and more effective. Our operating budget is clearly unsustainable. This burden is falling to taxpayers. This is not fair. By relying tax on tax increases, one-time federal dollars, and state fund transfers, and draining the rainy day fund, we can only set our state budget up for bigger problems. I support a different approach. As I mentioned before, we cannot raise taxes on families and small businesses. Our focus should be on creating jobs, not new taxes. Second, we must prioritize state government. This means focusing on education, public safety, and the protection of our most vulnerable. Every dollar our state spends on running insurance companies, liquor stores, and technology projects is money taken away from our true priorities. We are also need uh, to contract out more state services and embrace the private sector in an effort to save money. Third, we need to reform our budget process. We need guidelines to ensure budget sustainability and accountability and transparency. And I have sponsored legislation that would do just that. It would require exceptional state revenues be deposited into a rainy day fund uh, during good economic times. Uh, also prohibit the governor or the legislature from proposing an operating budget that's deemed unsustainable. Require the legislature to adopt a balanced budget and establish a state spending limit. These are not partisan solutions. In fact, they are budgeting principles used by responsible families and small businesses every day. Finally, there are too many people in Olympia who are convinced that the only way or the best way to create revenue is through new taxes. This is the wrong way. The best way to create re tax revenue is to create good jobs and get people back working. It will strengthen our economy. And that is why I have always supported a jobs plan that would help employers through regulatory relief, health care reform, and clean, low-cost energy. I invite you to go to my website to learn more about these and other solutions that I've supported. Well, thank you for your time today. In closing, I'd just like to say I'm honored to be your state representative. 
please contact me if I can ever be of assistance. I'm Barbara Bailey, and go out and make it a great day.